guys, before we get into the episode, thank you so much to our sponsor, Zia, Zia Farms. Farms. Guys, make sure to go to zefhemp.com to support our sponsor. If you like the best CBD, they have rattlesnake oil CBD that helped me get through my fight amazingly. It's just it's a beautiful oil. You roll it on. You put it on your back. You put it on your muscles. Honestly, I've been going to a, chiro- uh, going to like a chiropractor. I get home. Put that on. It it, it it hits different. But also, mm. the best thing with Zia is they're always working forward and for the future generation. I can't say what's coming up, but he hits me up every week. He shows me what's in the chamber. This is some crazy shit, guys. Uh-huh. So, guys, if you like Delta 8 and you like CBD, mm-hmm. please go to go to Zia Farms Extraordinary and use promo code DOPED hyphen up and get... Ready? 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 How much? Tell them. 50 Woo! percent off guys that is 50 percent off d-o-p-e-d hyphen u-p guys mm. z-e-f that's one more time z-e-f h-e-m-p last time you got 50 off on anything guys support our sponsors let's get back into the show <laughs> <laughs> We need to change this shit. Dude, I, I swear, every week. We got DC. Every week I wake up on oh. Thursday and I go, fuck, oh, Thursday dude. already? That was on my docket. Yeah, yeah that means I'm not liable that for nothing y'all say docket. on the show. Guys, this is dope to been dying. The Sunday morning smoke show. We are the cocaine morning show. We are your energy drink of coffee. We You taste some coffee, uh, uh, taste talk. some coke. You taste some energy drink. You mix it in a bottle. And guess what you get? You get guys, doped up and dying, guys. I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your co-host, Kevin, the abortion survivor, Sanchez. These How you feeling, Kevin? Asshole, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up like that. He, ch- he changed your credits Saturday. every week. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I mean, gave you some riff though. Gave oh, you some riff. Oh, I will hey, say the way you riffed with riff. it. I was telling people um, all week. I go. I brought up Kevin as Kevin, the abortion survivor, Sanchez. This dude did five minutes on it, bro. I was like, did you have those jokes written? Bro, Just, he I've, been, I've been saying it. He, that's a, that's been a bit, living. That bit's real. Is that bit real? You do that bit. I've never done it before on stage. We ha- we haven't recorded. That's yeah, a bit no, you gotta do. Got you gotta got do that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bit was I was impressed, bro. I was like, you finally talking about it. How many times have you told Kevin, yo, you're talking about your wild shit, wild Kevin? Did yo. you rip did you rip the cord off that bit? <laughs> <laughs> and that voice you hear, that's our guest for today, returning for like the third or fourth time. One of our guys just recently passed that New, New York, York Comedy Club. Woo! Guys, we are both to die. The up, up and comers. Guys, give it up for your Guess oh, I'm that host. Your guest for this evening, Alex Gorge. Hey, love you guys, man. How does it feel to, how's it feel to be did back? Do we, we? Did we? And I was no, about to say, I was about to say, and, and you guys sitting beside Alex, shows. the guy himself, <laughs> the false prophet, DC and the Williams. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> and before we go any further, yes, and before we go any further, sitting in the booth on the keys, on the ones and Black twos Hebrew and threes, really? it's but. Natty Ice. Natty, how you feeling? <laughs> Finally made it permanently cool. into yeah. the <laughs> intro. You're all you're you're finally in the intro. You finally remembering. Um, I'm doing my best. I think my intros it, are getting it, better. It, it's getting better. It only took us a year and a half, dog. Shout you know out to I mean? Nat, man. I mean, listen, good the, things the, come to those who the wait. The clips are getting so good, the intros have to get better. Yeah, yeah, guys. Mm. This is uh, this is gonna be a fun episode. I I mm-hmm. finally have as a Jewish man. Also, um, we can't forget to talk. Now, nah, I just want to talk to you about Blind Mike. I saw him reading shit on the podcast. I got a problem with that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it you that wrote the comment that's yeah. like I don't think. Uh, Blind Mike would be as blind if he opened his eyes all the way, just saying. No, no, that wasn't me. I, I typed, um, Blind Mike got some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's doing a lot of looking at shit on his podcast. <laughs> I don't get why his name is Blind Mike. That's Red. DC Williams, stands for Derails Comedy. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> DC shit. Williams. He does not know how to keep a bit going. Um, no, I think he did a good job. No, he doesn't keep it. He did a good it. job, bro. You hurt your feelings out here, dog. <laughs> It'll catch up. It'll catch up. It'll I just, I, I swear, you ever like try, you, like, it's like when your play starting to develop in basketball. Ball and you're just like dribbling, and then you pass it, and you're Simmons. like, "Yo, I got the ice out, I got the ice out." <laughs> Did you say? You pass it to Ben Simmons. You said, you said, you said when your play starts to develop, and then you pass it to Ben Simmons. Oh, bro! <laughs> and then you start seeing him rise up from three. You're like, "Oh!" Yo, you ever see that in the streets? You ever play ball with somebody? And some dude, you, you didn't know he could shoot or not, and he went like this or some shit oh like that. That's like DC. I'm telling you. No, nah, you ever play ball with somebody, and you're like, "What's going on?" They won't give me the ball. Like for the whole game. That was bro, wait, wait, bro. I'm, 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 you, I'm, I don't know how to break this down to you, <laughs> but you straight track it. Wait, wait, wait. You go it up. They'll, they'll pass it to you. You get it, and then you. They're like, no, 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 don't shoot. Pass it to me. That's me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> bro, yeah, you're, 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 you're the decoy. You're yeah, the decoy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's what, uh, what's that movie with the four kids and they're walking like down the train the train tracks and uh, um, Schindler's List. No. Stand by me. Stand by um, me, bro. We did. Yo, we we did that when DC shoots when we play basketball. It's like saying I'm like. 
Another brick. Oh, shit. I don't know breaking? what he's talking about. I shoot like Matumbo. That's not a good. <laughs> That's, he only knows. He only knows. That's how you shoot for real. <laughs> no, that's how Alex Gordon shoots. <laughs> really? But he makes him in. I make him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, can I, can I tell you? He like a side of thirty eight percent out there. Bro. That's Dylan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm me and Alex. Uh, last time we played basketball, there was like the third game, dude. Alex has this weird jumper where he kicks his foot out and he has a dirt in a wixie, just like you're gonna hurt me, you're gonna hit me, or I'm gonna shoot this. And by the third game, bro, I got so fed up with it. They kicked the, him. Nah, bro. The play just stopped, and we came back into the play. I think it was like, like what are the tie game? One, one, sure, whatever. Sure, sure, sure. I just look at Alex. I go, by the way, bro. I'm done with that leg shit. You, you rise up. I'm blocking that shit. I don't give a fuck. You get hurt. He goes, what? I go, I'm done with that leg shit, bro. I turned it to yeah. D Wade. I was that's like, like that's how you, is that's done. how you create space, though. The, that's a good the, way to create space. The fun part about playing basketball with Dylan is if you beat him, he'll threaten to fight you. Yeah, yeah, very uh, true. Yeah. actually, he'll do that if he's winning. <laughs> Yeah, 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 basketball yeah. does bring out the worst and best in me. I, yeah, yeah. I I don't know how to explain it. It's well, just best, you know. Yeah, bro, I, I swear be to balling, God. dude. I mean, to, I mean, all right, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this on the we're podcast. Not, we're not doing guys. This. Uh, I, I as a Jewish man, as I was saying before, before DC really what? interrupted You're me. You're Jewish. Huh? Um, DC, just like a DC, and That's what I want to say. Also, we talk as a Jews? black man to interrupt a Jewish we're man talking. in his plight on what he's about to announce his about Kyrie Irving. Oh my God! It's um. Just it's just it's it's plain anti-Semitic. Let me hear about the pain you've been in. Go ahead. It's plain anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. I said it right that time. Um, I can't be anti-Semitic. I'm a Semite. <laughs> I'm trying to join the church temple. <laughs> it's temple. temple. It's Chabad. Chabad. Whatever, Chabad. whatever one you want. Um, Chabad. Um, see, you can't. That's anti-Semitic. How is that anti-Semitic? You can't, do that. You can't mimic. If I did a uh, black set, <laughs> a b- what I just. <laughs> What do you mean? You live in a black set. You live in a black you, set. You do black set so much, you do white voice sometimes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't tell like, is Dylan talking like a white person right now? It's weird. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, do it right now, dog. I have no idea what you, you gentlemen, like are you speaking to, of. I generally do want to hear your opinions like on what they're Okay, no, jokes Kyrie. aside, listen. Damn. Um, I actually it's so hard to get a joke in wrote... <laughs> No, you're good. Yeah. Roey, uh, Roey Rose, another Jew, uh-huh. uh, watched the documentary, <laughs> and we were Jew. and we were going back and forth, and he sent me some of the screenshots of the documentary. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying uh, to say that is, no one watched, by the way, nor not even Kyrie. But that's what I'm. And that's <laughs> Kyrie what I didn't watch. No, <laughs> he did watch know? it. He said that he didn't watch. It was referred to him like because he started talking about Black Hebrews and all that kind of stuff. Then he sent him this documentary, and then he retweeted it. He never. He didn't watch. Yeah, he didn't watch the documentary. Do you have the photos I I sent you in the email? Can you pull up all one of the photos? Uh, Um, The 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 Hitler. That's in the documentary. What is that? Oh, Jews or devils? Wait, (laughs) what? (laughs) Okay, when you say that's in the documentary, pull the next one up. Okay, and uh, zoom in. Here, uh, Ashkenazi Jew Harold Wallace Rosenthal. We we are obligated. We're we obliged. We are obliged. Thank you. All, we are obliged to conceal our own particular character and mode of life so that we will be allowed to continue our existence as a parasite among the nations. Ashkenazi Jew Harold Wallace Rosenthal interview in 1970. It, it, this is, by can the I, way, this is eight minutes into, do, into the documentary. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to say is I believe the uh, African-American community is, uh, is, is backing a man where – uh, do you, did you find the Shannon Sharp video? He goes, um, Shannon Sharp had a, 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 a quote where he goes, we are trying to make a man grovel for his job back mm-hmm. after a mistake. Mm-hmm. I mean, wasn't wasn't that the like entire point so of like, I- the Black Lives Matter movement? I mean, like every white person has ever done anything slightly racist, even they, a comment on the internet mm-hmm. loses their job. Kyrie Irving, mm-hmm. millionaire basketball, has all the views and little kids watching him in the mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm plays in Brooklyn, Dylan, a very Dylan, Jewish Dylan, area. Dylan, I'm gonna have to stop you right here. Why? <laughs> uh, this is a very dangerous path. No, it it's is. not. It it is. Is. It it is. Is. And before we go, and to before we go I've, I've got a quick I'm out. <laughs> I've got a quick take on this. Uh, it's a discussion. I have a, I have a take after you because I want to say something. Uh, I, there's a funny screenshot. I don't know if it's in your collection. Um, from that, and it's uh, a, a quote from Hitler, and it's like. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! And More the quotes. so the graphic goes. What's, uh, you heard it here first from Alex Gordon. Yeah, yeah, Hitler was hilarious. No, no. So the quote. So the quote is. Uh, it's something along the line. I'm paraphrasing now, but it's like uh, you know, black people. That, don't re- paraphrase. That's what got me in trouble. Well, no, no. no. So <laughs> here's the funniest part yeah. about it. It goes, black people are essentially the real Jews, right? Okay. But then at the end, it goes, said by Adolf Hitler at an undisclosed location at an undisclosed time, days before his death. Right. Probably not real. And uh, I sent that to some people I'm friends with back home on the right side of things. And the response was, well, how do you know he didn't say that? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, 
Alex Gorge has a 12-inch cock, said by Megan Fox at an undisclosed location at an undisclosed time. <laughs> Solid. And he was like, all right, good point. And I was like, also, they spelled Good point. Well, that's how guys, guys win wait, arguments. You said you spelled, they spelled Adolf wrong? They spelled Adolf wrong. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In wow. The, in so the not graphic. a credible source. It was spelled K-Y-R-I-E. I R V I N. But that's weird. <laughs> it is weird that you go that you go, you know that guy that killed a lot of Jews? That guy that like was on meth? Well, he said like that's your guy. Most that's of those rants you... are documented. And to can I to the point like everyone uh, so I feel like Kyrie Irvin Jews... and everyone is conflating what like black Jewish people are. There are Jewish people in Africa, right? Northeast Africa. But no way one's out in Ethiopia. That. No, no one's denying that. Well, what I feel like what Kyrie Irvin is thinking, he's like we're we're like he's doing this thing where it's like they're not real Jews. We're the real Jews. It's like no, Jewish people look mm-hmm. like a lot of things. Your last name is Negri. That's an Egyptian last name. You get what I mean? Which means you, yeah, so, yeah. You, at some point you, you descend. Know, at some point you descended from that area from Africa towards you know Very Israel recent, and it's whatever. My grandfather. You get what I'm saying? Like it's not so. Like a lot of people have this idea when they like, oh, we're the real, we're the original Jews. It's like it's like no, like you got to look at like genetics and all that kind of thing. It's like. My, I'm Jamaican. Like my people, like technically the people that are, that settled there are from Congo in Africa and all that type of shit. People get this idea where it's like they're not the real Jews. These types of people and all that kind of stuff, and they have this thing where the um, Ashkenazi Jews aren't like real Jews. They're like mm-hmm. Russian Jews. They mm-hmm. became Jews. Whatever it is, you know what I mean? Sure. And that's why they referred to that. That's who Hitler was referring to, not defending Hitler. That's what he was referring to, and what everyone is getting riled up. But about. Hitler didn't say that. No, he may have not said, but I'm talking yeah. about what, what, what Nick Cannon said and what some other people like what, to talk about. Like, okay, here's, a, here's the other half of that quote, by the way. If Hitler did say that, and by the way, we got to kill the blacks too. Right, right? Like, Hitler was. Yeah, he's kill the blacks. It's not like Hitler hates black people. He's missing <laughs> he's, so, I don't know, quote, why quote it's like, Hitler? Yeah, yeah. Black people are the real Jews. I fucked up. We should have killed them as well. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. what Hitler said. should have been 12 said. million. Look, yeah, yeah. Mormons I, are the one true God. But Kyrie did <laughs> what I call a heat check. Basketball uh-huh. players what are going on heat checks, right? <laughs> and Kyrie just had, he Talk was hot shit. because he like did not earth. he did not get vaccinated and got, you know, outcast from society for what, a year and a half? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Turns out to be right. Those vaccines are kind of shit unvaccinated. But He's I like, how many better. wild things can I get away with? Yeah, so he goes again. He goes, all right, let's put another one out there. I am MLK reincarnated. And uh, well, I don't. What am I? Yeah, up? it's it's, it's this caught is up my with game them. Point. This is my <laughs> you didn't have an ending for that. You I didn't did. have an ending <laughs> for that. You're on to something, though. But you, you were, were on to something. Were, I know. You, you had were, me you going. Were. I wish you. It's okay. You freestyle. This, right. this is my grand. You didn't tell me to come here with the sharp stuff. You're right. I have no qualms discussions about the. Uh, African Americans being mm-hmm. Jewish, Israeli. Listen, African Americans are not Jewish. No, 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 but, uh, the black Jews in Ethiopia and Israel are black Jews, but, bro. But I'm trying to say the, though, and is they won as, the marathon last week. But I'm, but yeah, I, one did, right? No, it's Kenya. Oh, <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say though. Is like I have <laughs> no pro. Like, yeah, like, yeah. If, if you're asking a Jew, like then you're, like if you want to get real tribalistic, he's like, yeah, Judaism is the first religion. Yeah, yeah, we're the number one. We're number one. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't we be like, yeah? And, Black people are also Jews. Like, yeah, yeah. we're number one, right? Like, that makes sense. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Mm. My issue is, I feel like people aren't letting Jews can cancel anti-Semitism right now. Let me ask like, a question. If you Why see- do you want to cancel... Uh, hold well, on, he's hold not on, anti-Semitic. He's not anti-Semitic. He's not. That's the. They keep do. They, he keeps doing things that aren't fully thought out. They'll tweet out things that they don't fully research and say, like the cannon with the Hitler shit, and him with this documentary of like, see, I told you. And it's like, bro. First of all, and a lot another thing people need to realize too is that Arabs are also Semitic people. Like, you know what I mean? Like Palestinians someone are Semitic. Bring, people. I was talking to someone on Facebook. They, they are, but they go, they go. How do you feel what about Arabs? And I go, why do you assume that I, I have no, I have a problem with my like. Muslim you don't though. Arab you don't brothers though. But this sisters. is the. People have such little information about Jewish people that they're just all they know is uh, they're associated Radical, with money like, grubbing and I mean, you can't trust them or whatever. The it is. But that's anti-Semitic. Uh, that is what I'm saying. That, that trope is anti-Semitic. It's anti-Jewish I've never been, for like, sure. Oh, I'm Jewish. Don't be. And I made Jewish. All that shit. I don't give a fuck. Right. But like, um, I, I was um, I was here doing Gaffey's podcast the other day, and he was talking about how um, he feels like black people need to stop using the N word. He's like, yo, if you look at Jewish people, they never use the K word. And I, like, I remember being a kid saying the K word. Yes, okay, okay. I, mean, I, I, I just wanted to make sure what I just trying to. I was trying yes. to think what it was. Okay, for the listeners, he said kite. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid. I remember yeah. saying yeah, yeah. that, and my dad name. beat like you understand like <laughs> yeah. beat my ass to a point where he was like, "You will that that you don't 
told you Let will never call, yeah. talk to a Jew like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Question: Why did you call a Jew a kike? Oh, was it like, a just to be kike, naughty, dude. just being. Na- <laughs> dude, he was just—he was over there. I was like, "Yo, let me get my money back." He was like, "Yo, I keep the change. It's all—it's in the tip jar now." I was like, "What?" Also, <laughs> b- back to uh, back Fuck! to. <laughs> look, I think Kyrie is gonna do well on the live tour, but I want to say <laughs> what's the live tour. Uh, the Arabian Golf Tour. Oh, that is. Uh, what is that? <laughs> so let me explain my to, bits over yeah, here. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I, still, I, I think I need to explain it one deeper. I'm still lost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're just going to move on from that. We're going to move on. Because <laughs> Kanye, I looked up, uh, I was trying to look up every quote because this got to the point. I, I, I uh, gauge social media by if. Something is being posted consistently by white women on their Instagram <laughs> stories. That's the it's top important. level. Yeah. It's That's important. as big as it gets. Black Square. Kanye, 100%. on and on. Um, like, Kanye said much square. worse. You, have you posted a blue square? A blue square? I've yes. never posted a blue square. Why? Because, because I just I I, I I know Jewish people and they're cool. You know. You don't need to post the <clears throat> PayPal logo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy got the hot one liners, bro. Got got God damn it! I don't want this to be a clip that has it. This is dumped up and dying the Sunday morning <laughs> show. <laughs> Um, but he said, Kanye, I looked up the I've quotes, also never posted a black screen. And, uh, <laughs> the quotes about uh, Jewish people from Kanye was yeah. just the classic compliments. They're really successful. They're right. great. Regular shit. Uh, but he said much worse things about it was the black Def people Con for weeks. And no Kanye? one gave a shit about that. Been, Kanye, yeah. you think Kanye did? Yeah, he did. When he said... Um, uh, Slavery was the slave a stuff. Slavery yes. was a choice. Yeah. No, 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 I feel like a lot of people like there was um there's an Instagram account that the reason why Kanye recently apologized there was a black owned um big Instagram account that was like they own white lives matter. We refute like, they're like they called for Kanye to apologize and honestly the next day he apologized and it's mm-hmm. actually kind of crazy where but that's what but that's what I'm trying to say is I didn't care now, Kanye until I the, realized that like if Jews don't care about this no one will. Does that yo, make sense? Am I bugging? Am I bugging? And I don't feel like and enough this, Jews this is care. Why, Jews do care. They care a lot. Nah. But no, 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 no. What does. are you talking about? What are you talking about? They took away Kanye's. Nah. Hold on. Listen, bro. I know. Bro, stop telling me now. Nah. Let me talk, dog. <laughs> right, Jesus Christ. All right, bro. I will agree with him on this one. Damn. <laughs> All right, bro. They took away Kanye's Adidas deal, his Gap deal. They took away his fucking, uh, uh, they took away his accounts. Chase. Say goodbye. I okay, t- so Ari Emanuel. Taking bank account was the most Jewish thing so, that happened to Kanye. Okay, so Ari Emanuel, a very powerful Jewish figure in Hollywood, made all those calls and tried to get people to do that. What I'm saying is everyday Jewish people, the one I work with, Ben, has it even thought about that really you yet. You work with other Jews? Um, yeah. No, but, but Did, have y'all seen, the have y'all well, seen the, the Norm MacDonald joke on this uh, from like 30 years ago on SNL update? You can insert Kanye and it's it holds up. So he did a joke. I'm just going to paraphrase Norm's joke, but it was... Uh, you know, um, Marlon Brando had to meet with Jewish leaders this week to apologize for remarks he made on the Larry King show mm-hmm. when Marlon Brando said, quote, the Jews run Hollywood. And the Jewish leaders accepted Brando's mm-hmm. apology and announced that he's free to work again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 they don't run Hollywood, but no one is trying. That's, that's, not, not, why, that's, that's not what their beef is. My their favorite beef tweet, is, my favorite tweet comes King from... Lately. Recently that's comes great. from Danny Polishek. Shout out Danny who posts. Yeah. He goes... A lot of Jews living rent free in people's heads right now. I want to know, as a Jew, <laughs> the rent's never free. That's such a good. The rent's never uh, free. No. They got such that? a good. Did he say that? Uh, no, uh, no, it's so funny. Uh, I want to. I want to move off of this in a little bit. I just want to say my <laughs> thoughts because at the end of the day, I I didn't. I don't care about these things. I'm not very like. like I'll be real with you. Jokes aside, at the end of the day, like. I'm all about like, you know peace, love, harmony. Like I just want everyone to be happy. And basketball, and, Jews oh, love and basketball. basketball and basketball. Dude. We love basketball. <laughs> but I will also say like, it almost just hurts me how many um, like Black Americans are like, dude, what the, what the Jews are doing. It's like, dude, mm-hmm. I feel like I was on your side the whole time. Like as a young Jewish American, I was mm-hmm. like kind of hurt by that. Like honestly, it genuinely hurt. Where I'm like, if I don't care about this Jewish uh-huh. thing, literally no one does. No one cares about this except Jews. Mm-hmm. Does that's, that make sense? That's every but I'm gonna, most race people don't know issue Jews. ever. Your people got to care about it. Yeah. For yeah. other that's people to care about yes. it, right? Same way, black, no one cared about BLM until black people, like, we, they yes. had to push. Yes. They had to go on these marches. They yeah, had to until we got funding from George Soros. They had Soros. to fuck up buildings. Yes. Well, right? a lot of, was all for yeah. that shit, right? I mean, the Jews won't fuck up the buildings because they own it, but yeah, uh, we'll do some other stuff. Uh, 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 the a- Asians, fucking, I mean, I've never seen. That's a white woman Instagram story. What? When the white dude <laughs> was getting jerked off, at, or wasn't getting jerked off at the massage parlor, shot at the massage parlor, stop Asian hate for a week, Asian nice. hate crime, 
stayed consistent after that. It just wasn't white people, so you never heard about it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was a lot of black people beating up Asian people, which honestly, yeah. about time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just saying, I grew up in Queens, bro. Asian people are mad. Chinese people are mad racist. Still fuck with them, though, <laughs> you know? Shout Listen, out to, you know? I, it's just, it's, it's just a, a, a weird thing where... <laughs> I like um, how, I like how sure by the way, to be is, bro. Yo, I like how, like, uh, Chinese restaurants, like, they just came here. They, Go on. We, they went to the hood. They, for like a year, uh -huh. they had their food and we're like, fuck that, make no money. The next year, fried chicken. What do French black people fries. like? <laughs> fried, fried chicken, French <laughs> fries, spare ribs. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, please, yeah. buy, please buy fast and leave. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people sending me other dishes. Why don't we go uptown more for food? I go, I don't think you know me. I don't. I don't go uptown very much. Why? You think? Yeah. You think? Yeah. The, it's, not the, it's not what you think. You think it the is black anymore. Hebrew Israelites are there are gonna? No, no, he's but he's <laughs> so <laughs> robbable, dude. Honestly, oh my god! Yeah, 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 oh my god! god. Yeah. Mad yeah. robbable. But he knows yeah. that though. That's yeah. why he's walking he target. Yeah, 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 he is. He just comes out the Uber too happy. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, first I told you. The last time I went to your apartment, I got out of the Uber, mad happy, mad ditzy. I turned my back and there's like a dude literally following me, and I was like. I was like, yo, you, the, ring the bell now. No, no, what's, now. What's happening right now, though, in these streets is getting crazy, bro. La yo, got another train story. Ready for this? I love it. I love it. Let's go. Hey, Kevin hey, Train hey, Story. Let me do an intro. Cut it. It's Kevin Sanchez's Train Stories. How does one person get into so, miss, so much mischief? <laughs> da, 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 da. I'll fix it next week. All right, my niggas. <laughs> so I'm on this train. Right? That's right. I started like that just for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for you. I want my niggas. I got white niggas. <laughs> so we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm trying not to say the N word no more, but it's so difficult. I uh, <laughs> Yo, you know what someone said? So my, I, my head just was blown back. Goes, I, don't think I, was I was like, oh my God. What, what do you mean? White person say that? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Nothing. So um, wait, you saying you don't think I can say it? I'd like to talk about. No, go on. No, no, we're not derailing. So, no, so I'm, I'm on this train and brought mm -hmm. it the dumbest thing I've ever done as a hood dude from the hood. I'm like, I can't believe I got caught like that. Mm. So it was a Pac-5 train. I'm like, all right, I'm going to skip it to the next one. And I'm wearing my Adidas uh, fanny pack around my chest like that, right? And some dude, uh, it was a black dude with dreads. He looked perfectly normal. And mm -hmm. he's like at the like the, at the at end where the doors are, packed the fuck out like sardines. And it was there for like three minutes. And he's t he said, yo, my man, what? And he's pointing at my, my thing. I, I was about, I got geeked up. I got... I got, oh, shit, he about to say this shit fly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I just want to hear it. Kevin, so I, I love my, a good compliment. I, I love a good compliment, bro. I need it. So I, I, I went like, my friends always joke on me. It was, it's fucking rough. So <laughs> so I, so he, I'm like, what you said? He goes, hey, yo, my man, you got something in there I need to know about? And I was like, and for some reason, the first thing in my head, I was like, is this guy like a cop? Right? Like, uh, undercover or something? Yeah. It just threw me off guard. Oh, so many fun things you can oh, say. Oh, why? Why? He thought why are, you were Arab, my Why bad. aren't you wearing headphones? Huh, I am. But I took it off to hear the compliment. Why would you acknowledge anyone Bro, saying anything he went to like you on the train? That's but, the first mistake. That I know. That's what I'm saying. As a he wasn't holding a gun. He just hit me with these. He hit me with, with, the, with the fingers. So then I said, huh? And then for some reason, by the way, I'm like, this close to him. I wanted, I wanted to hear the compliment. Yeah. So Comedians I'm like, what you said, bro? You were already hugging him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to give him a, a dap at everything. You were right? dab. He was like, yo, give me your wallet. You're like, yo, I, reverse that dap, I, my I, guy. I almost zelled him so he could buy himself the fanny pack. You know what I mean? Like, I was that happy to get that uh -huh. compliment from him. What'd you say? And then he, he said, hey, homie, what you got in there? Mm. And I said, huh? I, like, I'm, I don't even know what to do. By and then I realized what he was doing. And then there was this white lady next to him, and she's looking at me like, you retarded, dog? Like, what are you doing, son? Yeah. And I said, and I, I went back, and I'm against the wall, and he's like, hey, yo, I'm about to come out there and check your shit. Mm. And then, do do, And he started, he's still cursing at me and cursing at me, and I spit at his window. And then I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I lied because that was wild? part of that story. We know someone. But I thought I was going to get fucked up. Carries a gun in their fanny pack. I, do you think... That would have been a lot of like, what you got in there. Oh, buddy, I've been waiting all day, all for, day this. for this. We have a homie that does that. Yeah, that's who we talk, that's who we're oh, talking okay. about. Because okay. <laughs> he brought that up. DC like, hey, derails the room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one more time. Thank you, DC. I mean, like, to his that, 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 that was the uh, that story went almost nowhere. Can you yeah. flick? That was the pretty you now. You seen, seen Pootie Tang? Yes, yes. When the he's got the third dude, and they're like, "Yo, it's so hot out here." Yo, blah blah blah. And then the dude, two seconds later, goes, "You know what? It's hot out here too." <laughs> that I've so never seen Pootie Tang in a while. Dude, Pootie Tang's so um, good. But no, it's just listen. It's been a it's been a fun week. Uh, we did the doped up 
friends and family show on Saturday. Oh, and um, the we, the first one was sold out, standing room only. I'm not going to lie to you. This one was not sold out. But holy shit, we had like five or six or seven seats left. and But the energy was, was different. Was top notch. Okay. I'm so I, sad I wasn't there. Top Natalie, notch. I forgot uh, uh, my an extra mic, so we couldn't all co-host. But I think that's how we're going to do the show from now on. I was hosting the dick off that show. My These boys, yo, Kevin closed the show out sitting down. And the second he sat down, I said, this motherfucker, this motherfucker killed me. Wow, you took him to church? Bro, he did. He did. I, I mean, I, could, I you can't talk shit. You know, you can't really. Now, nah, I'm, I'm in the school of hip hop. So, yeah, I was murdering. But I got to give Dylan his credit because I, and I hate doing this. I hate talking about like the compliments and comedy because it's suck each other weird. off. Go for it. But um, well, well. he goes. Uh, he called me up as the as, like, the way he introduced me on the show mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. was. I go, hey. my goomba, this is my dude, this is my best friend. Right. Like, literally, this is my fucking guy. Now, you didn't call me your best friend. You called DC your best friend. Are we going to talk about that later? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, listen, I got to give him something. I know, I know. I'm going to kick him off the podcast <laughs> at one point. Uh, and then I go. I give him something. I'm not paying go, him. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right now he's paying me? <laughs> I go, uh, Kevin, the abortion survivor, Sanchez. And mm. just, you watch Kevin go. And as he shakes my hand, he goes, I hate you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm like, I never, why would you? But yo, you riffed for like four or five minutes off of it. Mm. Gold, yo, gold. Bro, it was mad fun, bro. And uh, I said to DC, I was like, "Yo, has he been writing these jokes? He has all these like jokes ready. He's a fire. It's amazing." Yeah, but here's the thing: we, we've talked about it so much on podcasts. It's just natural mm. at this point. Just nat. It just it just comes up naturally. But bro, that shit was crazy. Dude, son. shout out to uh, Danny Polishek. Shout out Sean Mila, who was on the show. Shout out Young oh, yeah, David, who went up, got three applause breaks. But not amazing. like, not, not by like, the way, not not like, oh my god, yeah, that's the right thing to say. Was like, oh breaks. shit, that yeah. was. He had a joke about Russia and Ukraine. All his jokes yeah. are about Russia. Russia. I mean, yeah, Most he has of really good he's joke Ukrainian writing potential. Kid. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's Ukrainian. Really good joke writing. Um, Corinne For Fisher, sure. Kareem Green. My might, level, been, might be the yeah. best set to ever touch level, the doped up bro. stage. Whoa. <laughs> he killed me with that shit. Bro, bro he, he my girl hated that context. shit. Yeah, she did. She, was, she hated she was losing that shit. It. She was like, ew. <laughs> um, no, it was it was probably the best set I've seen. I get yeah, doped yeah, up. Yeah. It was, the really room was shaking. That shit. I was like, it was yeah. insane. Hey, hey, DC was killing. I tried, you know. Murder. I saw Kareem go up, and I was like, damn, I, I gotta get close, <laughs> like at least, nah, bro. Nah, so this dude had a joke about. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you. Oh, man, I, I don't. It was I some shit know. about. Um, I don't know any of these about jokes. Jews. <laughs> I, I touched on Jews briefly. Mm. I, I just talked about like I met Dylan and I was like that. I was. I no, thought was that was great. enough Jews for me. I um, I always like get like a little nervous about my intros because I'm just trying to have fun, right? Also, yeah. you're in the moments, comedy. All it's that way shit. more fun when your friend intros you though. I do. I try my best. It, it's because like when someone, I hate going to shows and I'm hosting. I'm like, yo, I, know, I hate a bad host. I know. No, it's not even that. Like, I don't know nobody here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just saying whatever mm -hmm. I gotta say to get the next person up. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I don't know their stuff. Yeah, they, yeah. And then comics will do some weird shit. Like, you don't know my podcast. Like, no, bro, I don't <laughs> listen to your shit, bro. I think most comics that I come into kind of acknowledge the fact that no one gives a shit about yeah. your intro unless no you're one like cares. legit. No, no, Chris but I will say this is, um, Danny Polashek was the first comedian, a uh, Jewish comic, but uh, just for reference. And and then I, as I'm bringing him up, I'm just having fun. And I go, this is kind of like, oh, good friends, really funny dude. The King Jew, Danny Polishek. And like, in the moment, I was like, that's either going to be really funny or he's going to be kind of like annoyed. Yeah. So he goes up there, riffs off. He goes, as Dylan told you, I'm Jewish. And then there was a little part of me that was like, I hope Danny isn't like, all right, but you kind of fucked up a joke where I say something and then I hit him like, I'm actually Jewish. Later that night, we're drinking, hanging out, and he goes, oh, bro, no, you literally alley-ooped me. Appreciate that. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Really? He goes, yeah. oh, dude, no. Like, sometimes it's hard to get into, like, yeah. I'm Jewish without immediately getting into it. He's like, bro, you immediately... I was able to be like, oh, talk to you about the Jewish jokes. And I was like, oh, that's fire. Another moment that was... Sorry, one more. When DC was up, he goes up there, and he goes... Because uh, I said, yo, DC's the only person uh, I met, and then I thought I was never going to see him again. I've seen him every week. He goes up there and goes, we were through Dylan's the only Jew... Oh, uh, the first Jew I met, and still to this day, the only Jew I hang out with. So, <laughs> and yeah, it's yeah. a big pop. And I, Jay, and, like, That's Justin, big, he got a big pop because it was mostly black people in the room. But, like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, like, oh, wait, Jay, like, like Justin people. Silver, like, when we do shows, like, do, like, the off stage interaction where they go back and forth and, like, yeah. shit like that, where Jay will be like, Justin, who's it? And they go back and forth. And I'm always like, that's a, this is not, I right, never done it, but, like, dude, I just hit a, like. What was the best piece of crowd work from the show? I think uh, for me, it was just like when he hits that line and goes, oh man, he goes, Dylan's the only Jew I met. He gets a pop and I go, 
And it gets quiet. I just go, damn, kind of got everyone confident now. And I just got a little pop. And I'm like, it just it was just fun to like play with my fr homie. No one weird in the crowd, on though? Stage. I was like a weird crowd member. I had a dude tell me his, I was like, what do you do for work the other week? And he was like, uh, his wife was like, let him tell you. She like started hyping him up. He's like, I run a dildo company. Oh, wow. He's, <laughs> he's making money. He's John, my manager. Yeah. It's like, um, I was like, what's it called? It's like Johnny O's dildos. And I was like, that's pretty good. You found a way to penetrate the market. Blah, blah, hey. blah. Move on. But. I was like a good piece of crowd work. Mm -hmm. So any weird people in the crowd? Any any? There was oddities? two girls. Yeah, he's like, stop telling me that you guys did good. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> bro, there was the two girls dead <laughs> center. I respect that. Shout out. Oh uh, wait, there was a dude with his. Shout out. When, when shout I out, gave uh, the pop, two women just took their pants off <laughs> and just started squirting. It was fucking <laughs> shout unbelievable. Shout out Lost uh, Ross Ross Canada Club, though. who Ross sponsors. Uh, who sponsored the comic club? Shout out uh, Lost Cannon Club. Yeah. If you're in New York City, go support them. Yes. Uh, they support the shows. They we do giveaways every single show. Who's the sponsor? Uh, Lost Cannon Club. You can get uh, marijuana's um, anywhere in uh, the New York City Brooklyn area. If you come to the shows, you can also pick up there. Um, they also have hush rooms and um, support women in cannabis. Yeah, do they, they sell legit edibles? Women. Are legit uh, edibles yes, sold less. in stores around the city now? Nah, kind it's of Delta Eight. Kind, no, there's actually a few smoke of. shops where they kind are though. There's a few smoke shops in the city. Well, what I'm trying to say though is we do giveaways during the show. There was two women up front, uh, a black girl and a white girl, and I'm just doing a giveaway. And every time she would just put her hand up like this, and I, and I just made a riff, and I was like, I was like, damn, looks like a white woman to like be like, it's mine. And then later, the later of the show, every time I bring one up, she was just like, you know, junk white woman energy. Yeah, you know what was the matter? No, there was. Don't get mad. White yeah, woman will get mad. Yeah. It was this Puerto Rican chick. I'm gonna buy tickets though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I would buy tickets. He's seen the analytics. Go up there and tell jokes. I want to laugh. You know what I mean? They'll bring their Fine, friends and shit. Buy a ticket. Like, it's hard a, to argue with them. Go ahead. It was his matter knowing. <laughs> he lets you talk now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost impossible, bro. It's, it's really difficult. You're when, allowed when, to when speak, Kev. When, when do we intervention him? Like, when does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> but he has. Can like we him off the podcast for a month no, and see no. if it goes better? Oh, it's like he man. has reverb in his voice when he's on his podcast, <laughs> really? and like when he talks, it feels like he's never done. Mm. <laughs> so it's hard to like see when DC is like done. I give breaths, bro. I take beats. Nah, I do. You don't. Right. You go. You go. Yada yada yada. Uh, <laughs> and you keep going. So I don't know when you're gonna stop. He's, he's smug. On the, uh, you gotta go on the uh. when he on says the, uh, uh. He also uh's in on the inhale, <laughs> so he breathes in. He goes uh, so he gets more air. So he, he, he keeps was, fucking talking. He did. He was doing a different version of your bit. And, yeah, 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 and that weirded you out because yeah. you were listening and oh, he right. said that you're like what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DC gonna... only does references that you will get on the podcast if you've seen us live. <laughs> Which means you gotta come see us live. I mean, and come see good. Alex Gortz, too. Fuck. Come well, see me. I want to put you guys in a mental torture chamber Yes, real quick. please. Because this uh, has been honestly the toughest thing mentally in the past three months. We're doing this podcast? Uh, my, no, no. Le my lesbian Jesus. fantasy football league. Okay. So I'm in an all lesbian... true? I'm in an all lesbian fantasy football. Can league. I say something real inside baseball, real quick? Oh, the yeah. first clip I ever cut for this show was you talking about your lesbian. I, I, <laughs> that is true. I love that clip, by the way. Yo, Thank you. There's a, there's a like scandal that. going on in my league right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Matt, here, I'm going to lay this out for you, and you guys, all of you, tell me what you would do because it's it's wild. Okay. My friend uh, Courtney, all lesbian league. They needed one more member. They invited me, and I'm only a non lesbian. I'm two time defending champion, but that's besides the point. <laughs> okay. All right. One of the wives in the leagues in the league <laughs> dies two months ago. Dies. Are you serious? Yes. Actually. Tra tragic. Let me finish this point here. Tragic. Dies. I play the wife two weeks ago in fantasy. She logs into her dead wife's roster two days before we play and trades herself Cooper Cup for Gabriel Davis straight up. And then says she would have wanted me to win. <laughs> Yo, so I like this. Lady. Let me keep painting this picture. What did she kill? She him? is going through one. She's a friend of mine. She's going through one of the toughest moments. You know, she's been through murdering your wife for fantasy football is hilarious, Kevin. But <laughs> what if she killed her? <laughs> I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Because and, and, and I'm I realize I'm being a piece of shit because I'm mad at this. Wait, did you lose the game? I. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I I am a petty person, so I benched <laughs> all of my players that week to give her the free win, so she would feel bad about it for not earning mm. it. Mm. But how do you handle that? Don't Nat, feel what bad. would you do? I, I'm gonna keep. I it missed the beginning of the story getting Kevin White Claw. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't re <laughs> relay that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, well, uh, what do you guys do in that situation? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. First of all, she's a terrible human being. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? She's a bad human being because, like, why do you care about fantasy football right now? But that's the beauty of fantasy football. You always care. You're, <laughs> You're irrational. <laughs> You're irrational. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do, bro? I, Honestly, I, would, I would call up the com- who's the commissioner of this league. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm starting to. I'm starting to. I texted her. As, to, wait, no. is she Jewish? No, she's Asian. Yeah, you still can't do anything. That's just enough. I am mm. starting to think there's some foul play involved. There's a murder. Really? Is there a murder? Oh, in the murder. <laughs> oh, well, no, it was a, uh, like a, a stroke. Wait, what's her oh. name? What's the name of her team? Over um, fantasy football? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the go- my team name is the Gotham Thunder Cunts. Um, I like that. That's good like stuff. That. Are you on track to win this year? Is she close? Is she in the running? I'm in first place. She is in middle of the pack. Her dead wife's roster was in last place. She takes Cooper Cup off the last place roster, gives it to herself. I want to be supportive, but man, I was like, wow. Wow. Oh, and she's the com- How, Is there money on the line? How couple, much? Couple grand. Couple Whoa. grand? Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. I will say this. I, a, I struggled with this for a while. There's a part uh, of me. Like your gambling problem? Or? I just, you know what? You want to be supportive. Wait, how much can you win if you win first place? Uh, the uh, final two can discuss the split at no, the no, no, title no. game. How much will you win? If I win the league and uh, it's all or nothing, two grand. Two grand? Yeah. Bro, she's making the best of a, out of a bad situation. I'm on her side. Mm. Um, as a Jewish man, um, there's money I think that's the anti-Semitic. And, um, <laughs> not if I say it. Um, Self-hating Jew, prophecy fulfilled. Uh, no, you can't say that, see, because you're not Jewish. Um, I'm trying to join. <laughs> you keep uh, turning him away. You got to come back five times. Uh, no, you got to be reborn. Um, and your mother has to be Jewish, I think. No, um, that's not true. If you could convert to Judaism. You have to be Orthodox. You have to be Orthodox. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, dude, I think I would have done what she did. <laughs> oh, no, you would have done I it. Done I would have done, done it, it too. I would have done it. But what I'm uh, saying Alex, is. I would have done that. I, I don't, don't want to say it. That's no, why. that's not true. Also, she saved, <laughs> also, also, she saved Cooper from being on a team of a dead person. Like, you just want him to be in limbo? Yeah. That's not cool. That's true. That's true. Like, he just plays for a dead a dead woman? Like, yeah, come on. Like, trade him. He gets, he deserves to be out of there. He's decent. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Cooper hasn't been good since college. So I will say, like, though, if she comes back, and, comes back and win it, she's really my hero. Like, I really <laughs> want her to come back and win it. Like, I hope she, like, trades all the right people that yeah. she beats you off of, like, two rosters. Because that's how... Women need to win fantasy football. I too. love that Gorge is like, how do I get a two thousand yeah. dollar bonus at the end of the year? Oh, being when, all beating up women. How did you get into this? How did you get in? They needed the one man. more person. They had eleven. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm the only non-lesbian. I'm king of the lesbians. Yeah, basically, you're, you're basically like, you know, when like um, they it's transition funny study, to though. women and then they start competing against women. It's like you're doing that, but with fantasy football, and you're mm-hmm. still better than them. Why do you think you win every year? Because you know more about Some football. of them uh, make odd choices with their, their draft picks. Like Tom Brady went in the first round. Because um, he's handsome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I don't know if the lesbians think that. No, you, no, bro. They're just going off a headline. Are they having a meeting uh, where they're like, yo, we got to get this dick out of here? And not like a dick as he's a bad, he's an asshole. Like, no, I, like I, men should not be in this league. I think I'm, I play my bit now. I'm the non les. And, uh, it is. I, I ride with them. But don't you feel like you're taking advantage of them because you have more football knowledge, more sports are knowledge? Are you implying lesbians because you're a man? aren't able to be good at fantasy football? No, I'm implying that men are better and know more about sports because they're men. And, um, Jesus Christ. Don't. DC, I feel like you had an easy out there. That's what you were. Mm. I was DC. trying to. I was supporting you. I was supportive of what you're doing. Okay. DC doesn't have care you about always comedy. won? Do you always win? Um, no, there's, there's many other champions. So then there you go. How many, how many years is, has this been running? Six. Oh, but for the past two years. Wait, wait what do you mean? You've been champion for four of the six or once? Two of I'm two time defending champion. But you started two years ago. Started six years ago. Oh, so you didn't win the first couple of years. No, I lost two title games and now, was in the semis the other two. Now, were you really trying the first couple of yeah. years or? Well, it wasn't like my main league, but <laughs> I get, we get competitive, That's you know? That's a funny thing to say. Okay. Do you, but do you think you were would you, win were you more? Were you like really going on? Do you on? think you'd win more if you transitioned? DC, I Come swear on, to God. fucking I'm God. Just asking, I'm just You're asking. You're so predictable. I'm just asking. I just want to know. Give this mic for 30 seconds on the clock. I don't know shit um, about sports. I mean, you're talking about my lesbian league, and you're yeah. trying to put me in a box. Yeah, I'm not, I, don't want to, I don't want you to do that. Lesbians no, 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 like no, no. putting shit in league, boxes. The, lesbian, the name of the league, the, the name of the lesbian <laughs> league is the box. That box yeah, right yeah. <laughs> Thank you for getting it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a cool lesbian league if it was like, what's in the box? 
Mm. I'm a man. I've, I've seen <laughs> the movies. You know, I just laughed, and then I've you started to get one off. <laughs> it's too fun. Um, um, no, no. So listen, I think she deserved that one, bro. She's earned it. What kind of lesbians are they? Wait, wait. You <laughs> earned it. <laughs> you <laughs> earned it because your it your your wife died. Yeah. Why not? Talk to him. That's his viewpoint. That's what you really feel, bro. If, all right. Let me ask you a question. Me, you, Carolyn, we all in the lesbian league. <laughs> don't add <don't> <laughs> my girlfriend to this, right? I mean, actually, yeah. <laughs> she dies. God forbid. Yeah, whatever. You're not supposed to do that. You're Jewish. <laughs> they don't believe in that stuff. I do. No, no, no. no. They Keep don't going. believe in that Don't stuff. argue me. Yes, you I know more about Judaism than you. And I'm a chosen one. You're an anti Semite. Oh. I'm a chosen Jew, bro. I'm, I, I'm, I rank Chosen for the than buffet. You. I rank higher than you. <laughs> hey, yo, chill, bro. Nobody with your. Kev only shows up for Passover and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> you showed up Friday? Nah, 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 nah. I'll see you next Passover. I couldn't join Ramadan. I mean, I couldn't be a Muslim. I couldn't do Ramadan. Because of Jewish Thanksgiving? <laughs> Oh my! What were you saying though? Um, Lesbian league for you yo, guys. It's the same scenario. Yo, she dies. You know what? I don't care, bro. This is <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. You, re- I, you I, I think he realized what I was gonna yeah. answer. He was like, "Yeah, Dylan's gonna. It's not gonna change. Dylan's gonna <laughs> trade everything for his team and win. Yeah, that's what he's yeah. gonna do. Dylan's yeah, a piece this is of the shit. worst. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's get into plugs before we get on with the rest of the show. I mean, this has been... I, listen, I've been trying to slow down the episodes because we do post this on Sundays at 11. I want everyone to be able to enjoy this show. I've been listening to a lot of radio re- recently, kind of trying to re-watch the... Uh, re-listen to the episodes. Did we yell work? so much and go so fast yes. sometimes. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, I hate us. So uh, why don't we all, the, the hosts, say right now, we're going to re-watch some of these episodes every week. Yeah, yeah, Okay, cool. Yes. Thanks, guys. You're a guest. Uh, but, guys, thank you so much for joining us. This is Dope to Been Dying, the... Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Go follow the page at Doped Up Comedy, the Comedy Club every Thursday and Sunday. Black Ass Comedy Show every Sunday. We're gonna be uh, it's, it's good it's, shows. We got some fun things going up. We're gonna be in um we're gonna be in Time Out New York coming up. He wrote my name down. We're gonna be in Time Out New York coming up. Shut up! Don't look at my notepad. <laughs> He's like, look. He's got like, a big notepad. It just has my name on it. Look at my fucking shut up, guys. You're a fucking piece of shit. You're gonna be in Time Out New York, keep going. I mean, I, so, so guys, uh, announcing here, uh, Dope Tip Comedy Club will be in Time Out New York. So awesome. look for that. That's gonna be awesome. And also, a couple other things. We just had a, uh, a photographer hit me up on Tuesday to come from for the New York Comedy Festival for uh, Corinne Fisher's midterm election review. The New York Times came in for uh, to some photos of that. So oh, I think yeah. we're gonna be in the New oh, York wow. Times as well, guys. A lot of fun things happening. So come to Dope Up Comedy Club if you're in New York, Brooklyn, uh, Philly, Jersey area. It's gonna be really fucking fun. Also looking for that for the friends and family show. If you're gonna pick any show to come to, pick the come friends. Family show, guys. Let's family. go around the table. But let's start with our amazing guest. Thank you for joining us today, Al- Alex Gorge. Alex Gorge. Yes. <laughs> plug something stupid. Oh, this is plug time. Um, I'll be at New York Comedy Club later tonight. Hey. Uh, I mean, if you would she, like mute him. <laughs> if you would like to support me financially, uh, inflation is high. My Venmo is Alexander Dash Gorge G O R G E. Like it's about as Jewish as it gets. Um, Alexander Gorge. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the Middle East runs this World Cup in a couple weeks. I don't know. I got nothing to plug. Go exactly. DC. All right. Um. Yeah. DC Williams comedy on Instagram. Um, that's it. Uh, Thursdays uh, and Saturdays, Sundays at 66 Greenpoint Dope Up Comedy Club. Guys, please come out. Um, keep liking, following, and subscribing. We really appreciate I it. I apologize. As this is bad guest no, play. I, f- I forgot. I will be in Atlantic City next Friday Woo! at the uh, Celebrity Theater doing some time there. If you're, yeah. come by, if you're there in Atlantic City, come to Atlantic City Comedy Club. Hell yeah. And Alex also has a gambling problem, so hang out with him I do. after I do. <laughs> his show. No, I'm just gonna... I'm DC. That's it. That's all I got to plug, Kev. Though. Kevin Sanchez. Um, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram and YouTube. Wild Kev Sanchez on Twitter. Uh, yeah, that's it right now. You already know what to do. Follow, like, subscribe, comment. Uh... Five, rate five star reviews on every <laughs> fucking platform. Yelp. It helps. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, I think you might actually be on Yelp. Guys, if you're not already, go follow me at Dylan J Negri, D Y L E N J N E G R I on all platforms. Twitter is, I'm tweeting more. And also, I'm, I, I, have, I have insomnia now, so I, I think I'm going to start tweeting exclusively now. between three and five in the morning. Uh, one of my tweets I wanted to post last night was, How the fuck do adults do it? Yeah. That's okay. it. I, follow, I found you guys on Twitter. 
And Kev just usually tweets about diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, um, that's not true. Well, I, I he's do been too. cooking for himself that's recently. Oh <laughs> uh, no, that's it. Everything, guys. Go follow Dope Up and Down. Let's get back into the show. Hell yeah! I think Greta Thunberg's falling behind in school. Where are you? <laughs> I love it. You're, I love it. I was thinking about her a month ago. I love that you said references. that. Bro. Wait, bro. why? Why do you say that? So she started uh, striking for climate justice from school over yeah. four years ago, right? If you go yeah. to her Instagram, she'll hold up a sign. It'll be like "Strike for Climate Justice Week 258," mm -hmm. and you're like, "Wow." I don't think you're keeping up with the curriculum at this point, right? She started starting in seventh grade. She's about to be a theoretical junior. Can you just get back into school? I think she needs an Adderall prescription. Yeah, I do. Fuck. Or to bomb China. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think Alex comes on here to work out bits. He's like, all right, I think this might have legs. This one, this one might have legs. We are part of the CCP. But what happened to her though? Everyone has. She, she was here. She was she's a character. A fucking kid. She's, yeah, she's a kid. Dude. Dude. She's cashing out though. Exactly. So. She could, in my mind, she either goes back to school now right. or commits to selling out for the rest of her life, which honestly she Look should do. Look at Greta Thunberg on Google. She started like early selling out. She had a great quote last week. They, she had a press conference, and what they asked saying? her, she said, is your goal still to solve climate change? And she, she said, like, no, get my back. new goal is to dismantle world capitalism. What, bitch? That's a can't, real, you can't do both. That that's a like, real quote. That sounds like every girl on Tinder <laughs> and yeah. Hinge. Every girl on Tinder and Hinge, I want to end capitalism. And then like their third picture is yeah, them on a boat. On a boat. Yeah. Is them on a boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What can you do for me? Mm -hmm. Like, here's my here's my Venmo. It's like, bitch, go to work. Yeah, but they don't have to, though, because they come You got to get off Tinder, This is what's funny about, like... This is what's funny about... I got a girl now. I'm chilling. This is what's funny about, like, Greta, like, young girls is, like... uh. She, she goes three weeks ago in the news. I don't want to go into politics. Two days ago, she, Thunberg call uh Thunberg calls for Egypt to release political prisoners. I'm like she yeah, yeah, she can't like, help herself. And she's just she an un un uneducated adult at this point. Greta Thunberg says it's time to hand over the megaphone because the world needs a new perspective on climate. I haven't seen this. Oh really? This is new. No 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 what no. No, I never is? liked when civil when Greta disobedience. <laughs> When Greta Thunberg first came out, oh Alex, God, everyone man. was making fun of her because she looks kind of like Downsy, and I was like, no, they're "She's fun autistic. She's annoying. Sure. She is autistic. She's for sure, autistic. Oh, she's bro. literally diagnosed autistic. Yeah. I, I will say uh, this: like, I, I never knew that she was like autistic. But <laughs> what gave it away for me was the fact that <laughs> her, name, her name, her name, name looks, is autism. -y. <laughs> her name looks like the word great if an autism person said it." They're like, you're greater. It wasn't the fucking, you need to stop. And we need to stop all this we're doing and to change the world. That didn't make you think she was autistic. Are you Arnold Schwarzenegger? What the yeah. fuck was yeah, that? Yeah, that's why she, she sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger a little bit. Honestly, I don't remember She's her shit. She's a little shit. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No? She's a little Arnold Schwarzenegger? A little bit. A little Get bit. to Is the it? chop and then burn it down and yeah. we walk to save fossil Jeez. fuels. Nah. That's good. <laughs> right there. You hey, nailed it. Is she not sweet? It? sweet it? What is she? Oh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> Where is she from, Greta Thorberg? Uh, one of the Vienna, the shit. lens, feet, Sweden, Finland. I don't know. Exactly, somewhere where no one gives a fuck DC? about. No, I wouldn't be a comic if I did. That's bro. not. I, the... I would have a great job if I thought about what I said before I said it, bro. <laughs> Um, but yeah, why do we care about what I some remember, Swedish chick says? Because I work with DC, by the way. So He's not gonna let us get through this. He's just gonna some, keep talking about other topics. Sometimes I have to be like, I hear someone say something I'm like, DC, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're gonna ruin your job, dude. Just how you pay your bills, <laughs> bro. I, nobody, yo, I'm not gonna even say what happened, but DC did something recently, Alex is and I was like, yo. You can't do that out in like a comedy club Alex area. And he just looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> Alex uh, doesn't want to hear this. <laughs> hey, DC, don't don't, don't you... throw me into this combative situation you guys are having right now. DC, um, why can't you ever you acknowledge? Actually, why can't you acknowledge what? it? This is the point of the podcast. You're uh, what? Uh, your point of the podcast. <laughs> acknowledge what? DC, I said to DC, I go, bro, you can't talk to a comedy club manager like that. I didn't talk to, his I didn't response talk to her. was, bro, I tell her, bro, tell her, bro, tell her, uh. Suck my dick. I'm like, yo, that's not how, that's not how you get, like, that's that's not how life, bro. That's not how I said it, though. Bro, how you said it? How you said it? Like, how you Brandon Jaw line. I said, I said, I said, I said, bro, tell us something. Like <laughs> bro, tell us something. Honestly, dick. Dylan, the bro, more you keep bro, saying it like that, it makes me, dick. makes me, I, I, I hear like it in my said. fucking head. I never wanted to punch you, and I would have punched you right there if I knew I wouldn't have lost. At the bar, he was like, come on, you got me yelled at. Because I was, I was Yo, I've never seen someone do what this dude does, bro. I was trying to go say bye to Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My manager stops he was him in and the goes, green hey, room. you can't go in the green room here. Like, and he goes, yeah, but I'm trying to see I, Dylan. I, Fire, bro. I, I love all bookers Hell and comedy yeah. managers. Me too, man. Oh, shit, this Dylan left. This They're podcast is about to get 10 times funnier. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 
All right, so if you guys were lesbians, what kind of lesbians would you be? Ooh, that's a good Ooh. question, bro. Butch for sure. Whoa, don't no. disrespect <laughs> me like that, dog. I get a BBL with the quickness. I play in the WNBA. You would, yeah. you would, and you probably you would kill it. Too. I mean, you'd be kill it. You'd be Allen Iverson probably. In the WNBA, know. you think you'd be Allen Iverson? I think I could go forward. Oh, yeah, fuck small forward. At Yo, six two. Griner's fucked. Gr- yeah. Dude, what? You know the update with They're dragging. What is that? the update with her? Uh, they moved her to a forced labor camp the other <laughs> wait, day. Wait, wait, that was <laughs> insane, bro. Wait, wait. I, wait. You're lying, bro. No, that's the news this wait, week. They moved Natalie her to what? a forced labor camp. I think everyone should say what kind of lesbian they would be before oh. we move on to Brittany Griner. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. I'll be the WNBA lesbian. Go on. I would. I would for sure be like a hipster lesbian that lived in Brooklyn and um, mostly you dated mostly that. dated white people, mm-hmm. but like wants Switch to, to be with someone ethnic. Uh, and then I take that mm-hmm. out on everybody on the internet. <laughs> Shot fired. I'd be one of those like tiny like blonde lesbians that you have no idea that the lesbian uh-huh. and you always want to fuck them, and every time they're like. Nah, I'm lesbian. I don't like dick. Just because I would like want all the attention. I feel like you probably I like the attention. Yeah, I want yeah. all the attention possible. So I want to look like they, I, I want to be desirable to men, but at the same time mm. be like no. you want to be a femme. I feel like you get abused by your girlfriend though if you were a lesbian. Oh my god. Do you think so? <laughs> I like that. I like Domestic violence think. is actually huge in lesbian. Huge, community. bro. <laughs> but it's, huge. it's huge in the gay community. Like gay dudes fuck each other up all the time, and bro. Sparring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are we talking hey, about? Hey, yo, we're getting fired, bro. Yeah, it's usually in the gay community. That's documented through the the Dahmer thing that every white woman's watching. Yo, now. really? Somebody brought up that Dahmer was like, the cop was like, "Is this your boyfriend?" He was like, "Yeah," and it just brought him back into his house. Yeah, apparently the cop was just like, "That's crazy." Oh yeah, there was some willful <laughs> negligence. That, it was that shit was so crazy that it was, because it was gay, they're like, "Oh, I don't want to go near it." Serial killer, but he's gay. Like, what kind know? of lesbian? I I would be um I'd be a Dominican in Miami. <laughs> oh, that's CBL. Sick. That's you're lit. Sick. Okay, you're DBL. lit. You're lit. Run a burrito shop? Nah, <laughs> bitch. What? No, I have sugar daddies and I eat pussy on the side. Okay, Kevin, I feel like if you you'd be one of those type of lesbians that like if I met you, you'd be like, "Yeah, I'm lesbian," but like makes sense. No, mm. no, I'd be. I was no, to... you'd be two hot bitches. You guys would be. You guys would be. <laughs> nah. uh, Kev, Kevin would be the abusive girlfriend to yeah, kill it. To do it. Oh, yeah. That and I'd be, the, I'd, I'd be the third, third with, with each other. You know what it we is? Would. You know what it is? You're infuriating. <laughs> I just want attention. It's yeah. not even yeah. like right. real. I'm mad attention. I don't like when guys talk to you. Mad that right. I'm the hot and one. And guys keep talking to and you. Mad that I'm the hot right. one. Keep talking to you. And I'm a lesbian frat. Come over, hang out with you guys Shut sometimes. Up, I don't know where we hang out with you. You. <laughs> you guys start arguing all the time. Sometimes we hook up though in a three way. I don't but, even believe you're lesbian. I, I think I'm wiser than you guys. I'm most trying to give you guys relationship advice, but yeah. I have no one in my yeah. life. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind of lesbian I would be. <laughs> For and then sure. I go to I go to Putacana all the time. <laughs> Kevin's gonna be a thought, basically. That's what you say. You're gonna be a thought. No, you need my Emmy. Ah, cheek, oh, I, 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 cheeks, flapping. She's I, I will uh, say, I, I will say, in, in, in our lesbian relationship, <laughs> I definitely would be the one sitting on the chair, like when Kevin walks through the door, like three in the morning, when he was supposed to be home at one, and I would just. So where have you been? And I'd be like. <sighs> You stayed up, and like, I mean, you Kev, said you'd be home like an hour Kev ago. Like, Don't worry about where I've been. You clean the dildo so we can fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> clean the strap on and get it. <laughs> Ask me no questions. You don't even cuddle me anymore. <laughs> can you imagine, bro? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be mad difficult, bro. I'd love it. I'm mad difficult now. And, yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm just like a twin. I can't, I can't believe I, Brittany Griner's wife cheated on her. <laughs> Well, that's not cheating if you're in jail in Russia. <laughs> no, nah, uh, a porn video came out of her. That's not cheating. What? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but it's not cheating. Google this. Google this. I get what you mean. Don't not, not the video. Don't the Google it. I made the, that up. Uh, uh, solid fake news, though. That's some good fake news, bro. I like that fake. That's some good fake news. We should do a uh, fake news. Born from you. Born from you. Solid fake news. Solid fake news. Hey, you know I'm good with the fake news. You good with the fake news? I like that. That was some good fake news. Yo, he caught me three times. Once in one day, yeah, it's annoying. He, he does, does do this. Matter annoying. He called does. me with the Donnie Wash. Thing. Donnie Wash. Who owns the Knicks? Dalton. Jim Dolan. Jim Dolan. Yeah. Jim Dolan. Like, he loved that one Yo, for a while. He caught me so good once. I said, "No way!" I went straight to Google. I said, yeah, yeah, dick, dude. Yeah. It's, look- it's fun. You just uh, all you have to do is easy thing. Like, do you guys see seven people died in a gender reveal party this week? Is a headline you would believe until I finished this sentence. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's all it's all easy. T- it would be so dope for you to make a special called Fake News. It's just an hour of funny ass shit that you made up, bro. I will <laughs> say, just you like... can get on Netflix like tomorrow <laughs> but, if you did Fake News bits about like, like just Trump shit. 
But I mean, he's getting told they, they I'm, I'm good that. with like topical news yes. type stuff. Um, so I'm writing more about that personal stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yo, did you start shit. doing that joke about your sister, bro, and the hot sauce and all that shit? <laughs> Sriracha? Sister and the hot sauce. Remember you sauce. called me one time at work? You were talking about hot sauce and there's addictive chemical in it. I never did that joke, but I I was addicted to hot uh, Tabasco sauce specifically for I, years as a kid. The doctor like literally told me to stop. And, uh, <laughs> bro, this shit is there's funny. A, there's He's... a chemical in Tabasco that I'm addicted to called capsicum. Yeah. He's like, it could be. The doctor goes, it could be worse because capsicum is also in heroin. And I was like, well, that's great because my sister's addicted to heroin. So it could have been one or the two. It's not really that funny. It's not a bit that I do, yeah. but I'm glad that I just thank you, DC. Said it. Oh, uh, uh, it was. I was. No, no, that was, sounds funny. Nah, bro. It was. Uh, anal beads have destroyed the chess community. <laughs> he goes for another one. I got. An, I got an oh, laugh. Oh, oh you, know you know what I'm talking you about? Know what you're talking about. That one's kind of true. About. Uh, that one is true. Uh, oh, no, because yeah. of the guy. Do you no, guys no, know so, about this? So, yes. So you actually called me and told me about it. And I was like, that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I've been doing a bit on it. It works. Um, but uh, this kid is subject to strip search. Yeah. Oh, I guess the context is number one player in the world, lost to this American looking kid or American kid. And everyone accused him of using anal beads shoved up his ass that vibrate so when he makes an incorrect Whose chest phone move. Is that? Fucking accusation. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 oh my god, bro. Oh, Dude, man. that's on par with the Houston Astros. That's on par with like a lot of cheating scandals coming I out. Like, the I fishing like, thing, dude. I like when I like that dude, bro. No, if you're not trying to cheat in these dumbass sports, yeah, you're not trying to win. Oh, you guys mean in sports? Back to my sports. point. That's oh. why that lesbian that took her dead wife's players. If you're not trying to cheat, what yeah, are we but doing here's the thing though. She's a mm. psychopath. Mm. I know that's your good friend. Mm. What a psychopath. Nah, bro. Like, I would, I would, I'd be like, yo, Gorge, you won last year. You be the commissioner. Mm. Or something, or the, or the other loser mm. who went in last place, you be the commissioner, right? Like, your, your wife died. Fucking. That's why I'm kind of suffering in silence and venting to, to you guys. To, to us? Well, she's not gonna see <laughs> I'm also trying really to matter, come up with but... a bit about it, so yeah. I was going to see if you guys have thought of something. <laughs> I just feel like, honestly. I'm on board. <laughs> is she bi or just a lesbian? You guys keep suing the bi thing with the lesbians. There are no, true I, lesbians I, I, out no, no, there. Yeah, there That's are. why I yeah. asked. I'm not assuming anything. Yeah. When you ask a question like that, is that an But assumption? people have such commitment. Did you know that there's only 15 lesbian bars left in America? Like pure Less? lesbian bars? They don't bars? make any money. I don't believe anything don't... you say anymore, Alex. <laughs> no, no, no. He's that is a true liar. fact. That's that is a true fact. Yeah. That's a true thing. Google it. I don't believe him. How come there's more lesbian, uh, less lesbian? I'm bars probably wrong than on the exact bars. number, but it's like under. It's like an alarmingly no number. It's alarming <laughs> that white people, people media language. You know what an it is? Alarming amount. <laughs> you know what it is? Because lesbians can't go out. What? Uh, they can't go out without trying to hit on another lesbian. You think so? R it's, right away. And then the, uh, and there's too much jealousy. There's Ooh. a lot of fights to break out. It's crazy. I love well, it's it. also just cooler to be by these days. Mm-hmm. How Bina. many of these, like, uh, what is, what's the new generation? Gen Z? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many of these Gen Z's on TikToks you just see? Oh, dudes. bye, bye, bye. A lot of dudes, like, bro. Like, they're, they're dating yeah. Yeah. some white dude named only... Rick. It doesn't make any sense. I think this, I the reason there's only 15 uh, lesbian bars left in America is because you can only pay, play girls can want to have fun so many times before people go I crazy. I knew this was coming. Yo. <laughs> that's the only, <laughs> and that's like, you can only play that song so many times. Really. You know, lesbians love Cindy uh, Lauper or something? Or yo, what? You, lesbians got to switch to future. <laughs> I feel like they <laughs> do. Because they're, they're future, bro. Go up town. Yo, yo, lesbians are... They're wild with this Watch shit. Watch Dykeman. Off. It's called Dykeman for a reason. Off. No, I'm just we Yo, evolve. It's fucking like we evolve. evolve. Hey. Is that a song, bro? No, stupid. <laughs> I love this, bro. I love this. Bro. Nah, I'm just a Jewish Keep producer. Making I make hits. Oh my god. Yo, Dylan, and, Dylan and Josh are really. Josh, Josh got fucking married. Married to yeah. He did. Congratulations, and Joshua Pallett. Congratulations to I Joshua called you yesterday. Pallett, you didn't bro. answer me, and I forgot. Me. Yes, I did. You didn't answer, and I forgot that it was his engagement party. And I know you went, and you didn't remind anyone. I reminded you the day before. By the way, I gotta call you again, bro. No, 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 no. Kevin no, no. called you. you Kevin mean? called me to remind me. Did he really? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. How'd Did you go? No. <laughs> oh, you didn't pick asshole. up, you asshole. I called you, Kevin. No, no, no. I'll show you Dylan, right now. Dylan, 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 Dylan. When did I remind you? You remind us the day before. Dylan, when did I remind you? Oh, like weeks before, but like. No, 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 no. When did I remind you yesterday? Oh, you called me. Uh, no, no, you called me. And who was supposed to be on that line? Oh, DC, you fuckface. Yeah, dude. We were supposed to. I spoke like to Dylan for a whole 30 minutes yeah. after that, so what's up with that? Really, I was supposed to remind really, you, though. Really, that I called really, you at 8 p.m. You didn't answer. Miss your phone? Really, Look at that. Go hey, back uh, Go back in that. We're really a thruple out here, dog. A thruple? Yeah, we're a really a thruple, A little dude. bit, a little bit. Yo. Is Dylan going to ever fight again? I don't want him to fight again. 
Why do you Google how to tweet? How old are you? How to tweet? Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> I, don't I, Google Google that. That. I don't think I Google that. <laughs> I don't think I Google that. I doubt I Google that. It was just a halfway thing. This morning, Spanish slave dude, gets girl do, destroyed. That's, that's all, that's all. <laughs> 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 Not even real. Yo. Imagine if you just saw a bunch of like anti Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the porn got me. I was like, the next one under it was like, Jewish girl gets ass from short. Like, Negroes to Hebrews. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, I got the whole doc on here. <laughs> Why don't you delete your history? My, my history? Because you know what's crazy? I looked at that porno on my iPad. And my Stop slamming your phone. Wait, you guys delete your history? Yeah. No, I, I live fucking uh, twenty nine, bro. No. Yeah, bro. Every, every once in a while, for sure. But like, it's out there. China's got it. You know? Yeah. You just kind of accept I hate it. all of you. Like, I let, I let, like, I let, I stop being embarrassed handing my phone to people, and they go, like, I need to use Google. Here you go. And they say, you watch porn, dude? Like, yeah, dude, I watch porn. Like, I, I never fucking, really go through people's search. You don't even close screen. out of the windows when you're done. No, what happens is now on <laughs> Safari. Fucking gross. Hold Disgusting. On, hold on, on Safari, when you go to. X and X X X is right there. Yeah, yeah. My I used to my shit used to right? be like so that. So now I, I used to delete it, and then I was like, I'm not doing that no more. Like <laughs> I, I watch fucking porn. watch porn. <laughs> that is the first step to being a serial killer. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Only not caring. <laughs> no, it, it, is. it really 100%. is. People who hide their fucking inhibitions Ooh. are the first step They're to serial killers. Yeah, yeah. You guys who like, oh, I don't want people to know that I fucking right. do dirty things behind closed doors. No, I'm doors. pretty no, that's, open that's, with that's it. That's pretty normal. Yeah. That, no, that's open with it. That's called private life. This is my private life. It has the passcode on yeah. it. No, it just came yeah, from no behaviors. Uses, no one uses my phone except for me. Very, uh, very you delete your no. Back when I used to watch porn on what? my laptop, I went to a college class. I opened it up. That's... I was like, ah! Yep, I've been in that. I've been in that position. I've been, been in, in that, that situation, position. dog. And I had to leave the class. I was like, I'm, I can't stay <laughs> here now. I've been in, in that position. I remember that class first. It was my freshman year, dog. I got that first, that fresh Mac. <laughs> but you should be open about it. I agree. You should be yeah, open yeah. about it. Like, your if porn. you follow women sometimes, just fucking say that. What? No. On Twitter, you mean? On, Instagram. on Twitter, or Instagram, uh, yeah, not in real Facebook, life. you know, like okay. social media. Not through dark hours. Are you, are you DMing them? You're like, hey, I, I like your, your work. <laughs> Dude, oh, no. Dude, no, I follow work. too many female comedians and male comedians. I'm I got to start like unfollowing people, bro. I'm tired of seeing these really? people jokes. Everyone's posting their <laughs> shit. Yeah. There's yeah. no laughter, by the way. You got to follow different people, bro. Yeah, follow bro. I got to <sighs> So that's, that's the, people. I mean, I'm, I don't, I try not to hate on comics, um, but I have seen everyone just posting a shit ton of reels, and that seems like the way to go, just quantity, not quality. Mm. Yes, and the reason... It seems like the way to go. No, no, the reason being is you look at a guy like um, Shafti, right? I've, I've literally Who's watched... Shafti? That's not how you say I don't know. Who, I, don't I know watched his is. following Shafi. go from like 6,000, like 20,000, because... Shafi, you saying? I think, is that yeah. his name? I like yeah. Shafi. Shafi's Yeah, funny. no, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Like, whether they're quality yeah, or, or or not, because you're writing jokes, you're putting them out pretty fast, so yeah. they try to develop, but... He does a lot of people, shit, they though. No, He's but, a good joke writer. But his audience is built around that, what he's doing, regardless of how... Yeah, it's smart. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean... And most people don't know that much about stand-up comedy. They're just looking at it as, oh, this is what you want to put out. But, well, you know? Shafi's a lot longer down the line mm -hmm. than I am, and every and that's you got to judge by that, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I did seven months, and then pandemic, closed clubs, and then I've done it only uninterrupted by a pandemic now for a year and mm -hmm. six months mm -hmm. plus the seven. So I'm two years in, year and six months consecutively without un uninterrupted. It's not really time to push it yet. Fucking write more jokes, work yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Love. for the position you're at. Like, I don't think and, you understand. I think you, I don't think you understand how quickly you can capture where you're at. Like not like I'm true. closing in on, I think coming up on five years. It's like, where even I, this sounds like even get down on my career. I'm like, Oh no, for where I'm at, I am and how young I'm in my career. Like I have a very quick opportunity to capture something, dude. Be, to be two and a half years in, and be past a New York Comedy Club, past that Broadway. Yeah. yeah. No, it, this is the time to double down, triple down, all that. Shit. Yeah, but keep keep writing, keep expanding. Oh, for, for sure. I see a lot of comics. Sure. Uh, I think you can get a writing gig like this year. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. Uh, was, I just listen to the Jew. L I do see a lot of comics. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, yeah, no, no, let's, let's, about yeah. 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 yeah, keep going. Uh, give me another topic. What do we got? <laughs> I'll tell you give me another comment. <laughs> no. no. Wait, can I just, wait. <laughs> did we I ever, got my nipple clamps Did we on. ever finish the Kyrie thing? Like, what was your take on that? Like, did you? Did it really bother He's you? Say, yeah, no, yeah, you yeah, said, that? yeah, said it did. pains yeah. him that there are African Americans out there that are saying X Y Z about but, Jewish people without doing the proper research. Without doing the proper yeah. research, and it seems like no one cares but like Jewish. You know what I mean? That's the most Jewish shit I ever heard in my life. But it's it's any group. It, it's you know yeah. what I mean? Like no, no, because no, like no one does research. But also, you remember Stop Asian Except Hate Jews. never took off. Except for Jews. Except like, for Jews. Like, yeah. like he was saying, Stop Asian Hate never took off. Nah, nah, it took off. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. It was. It was there for a couple. Days, yeah. and then Asian hate crime stayed 
eminently consistent. It was just a lot of black people beating up Asians, yeah, and, and no one like, gave a shit at that point. Nah, nah, the liberals didn't nah, know nah, how to nah, touch nah, on nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. Well, wrong. it goes to politics. Wrong. Blah, wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Wrong. They just mad me. efficient, and they ended their shit. They hate quickly. Mm. That's mm. how efficient Asians are. No, Asian immigrants just don't give a fuck. Oh, uh, stop, Asian. Hey, what are you talking about? I open more buildings. <laughs> <laughs> I open more buildings, more business. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alex is like, he's doing an nah, Asian accent. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> Asians get fucked by colleges uh, in North Carolina. University of North Carolina just argued in court the other day that they should be able to just discriminate against Asians applying to the school. Mm. They're basically saying there's too many of you. And Harvard's done this for like 100 years. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're a black person with a way less better or way less mm. better, I'm educated, a, uh, a way lower GPA than way an Asian better. person. Uh -huh. You have a way better chance of getting into the school. over Affirmative the Asian. action. Yeah. Um, Shout out Asians. I think you guys. But if they're American, parts. they should be able to get in. If they're foreign, though, we should. Dude, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, that's here's why a lot thing. of Asians are becoming Jews. Education is. Education is. <laughs> what did you just say? That's why a lot of Asians are becoming Jews. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> education is a is an afterthought now in America. We understand what we are now, mm -hmm. and what we are is just entertainment for the rest of the world. Right? <laughs> oh, America, our place in society. Our place in yeah. society okay. right now yeah, yeah. is inter Like right now, I'm walking through hoods a lot recently. Okay, go I'm on. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I've never seen. Drop the take. I've never seen so many kids. They're not gangbanging. Oh, I mean, some of them are. But like they're not gangbanging as much. They're not doing street shit. They're doing TikTok shit. Oh, I've dude, seen a lot of hood people. You say gangbanging. <laughs> my mind went somewhere else. They're just gangbanging on TikTok. I seen a lot of hood people just out there doing dances and shit. Yeah. They're like, yo, I can make $30,000 a month and do something I'm naturally gifted at. Dog, if that bitch could do it, these white bitches could do it, our black hood dudes could do it. Our black, for sure. Uh, uh, our, not just black. I don't know. Our, our people in the hood could do that shit. It was funny. I saw a group of uh, um, a, a young Asian kids. It's kind of it's kind of fucking TikTok warming video. my heart. It really is warming my I heart. You, I, I saw a bunch of I, I, young Asian kids. You didn't grow up seeing that. I didn't grow up. I grew up with like people slapping your kufi off. I grew up. Bad disrespect. Bad disrespect. Is what the Muslims wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up on people like shout out Iranian women. I grew up. I grew up with people snatching burkas. I grew up with people. Uh, 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 robbing you for mermots, robbing you for your North the Face. What the fuck is a mermot? A mermot is a heavy the coat that only people coat. should wear yeah. in Alaska, but for some reason it caught on in the hood, mm. right? That's an eight hundred dollar coat, mm. right? I, I grew up with people who like were really like they were sharing, like they would rob you for your jeans, <laughs> and then share it yep. amongst their friends. <laughs> Right, yo, I grew yeah. up with that shit. You bro. get a leg, I get a leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, 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 my man, you got true religions. Bam, yeah, taking them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so like, to see these dudes go, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna make my own money, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start dancing, bro. That shit is beautiful, bro. Yeah. The other day, I was walking to the stand, and I saw a group of uh, Asian kids. Um, and one of them was just, uh, they were all dancing, but the one that was dancing in front of the camera was uh, wearing Yeezys, mm. and he's dancing with the Yeezys. I walk, and I just walk next to him. I walk by, and I saw him, and go, hey, man. You don't think with the recent thing that's going on with Kanye and the Jews that like, you don't think it's anti-Semitic to wear those Yeezys? And he was like, yo, bro, I'm not trying to be like, anti-Semitic at all. And I was like, yo, Hell dude, yeah. you should throw those yeah. away right now. Honestly, give me those. Let's throw, throw those away together. So I have a new pair of Yeezys. It's dope as shit, dude. I knew that's where it was going. It's a good story, but I already knew you were going to do that before you did it. Choose, 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 yeah, choose, choose. But choose. I was, you were looking at him like, yo, that's a pretty fly anti-Semite, though. <laughs> <laughs> that footwear on that anti semite. No, I, I will say that, dude. You see, you see, uh, hype beast now. You're like, that's a fly anti semite, yeah, dude. You see that uh, uh, the highlight clip of that Jewish uh, all American basketball player who plays with yeah, the, cap the keeper on? Mm -hmm. with the keeper. God, I hope he has the guard Kyrie Irving. And like, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, Just get nuts. fucking yeah. worse. Yo, I will say this as a Jew, that, that's <clears> gonna hurt my heart because I know Kyrie is just gonna. Oh yeah, they put, still put in the, the whole flat world on him. Uh, oh shit, he's cooking know, him. I don't know if he's back. Don't he, say they, that. they said you have to do like five things to come back. I don't know. Okay, that's that's I was so gonna funny. say he lives in Dumbo, Brooklyn. Yo, like, I, I will say. Can we talk about how LeBron's dead? No, no, no. Wait, pause. That is hilarious. I mean, they can't. They, the announcers can only say so much of that dude play uh, guards Kyrie. If you burn, like, oh, he just got burnt. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he's got gas. <laughs> Never mind. He's dead. Oh fuck, he's not gas. Oh. It's great man on man penetration. <laughs> <laughs> he is gaslighting Jews though. Okay. <laughs> Kyrie, Sorta. the handles of a German. 
Um, <laughs> really pre- a lot of precision. All right. Um, did you see the? Did you see the? Did you see the list of everything that um that LeBron's lied about? What do you mean? The LeBron lie means the LeBron have, lie have thing, dude. Like he, there's, yeah. there's, there's lies about pull everything. that up. I it's on Twitter somewhere. Yeah. You haven't seen these? That's I think funny. I retweeted it. Why online. are you hating LeBron all of a sudden? Uh huh. I've always hated on LeBron. It's one of my favorite I things. Love I love LeBron. I was Team Kobe growing up. I'm mm. Team Kobe, but I can still love LeBron. I got enough love. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You you can respect LeBron. Matt, yeah, I'm mad respect for LeBron, and I like him, but he's also not he's also not my favorite player. I just like oh, that. My he's favorite LeBron. is he got caught lying about uh, reading the um, the Quran. No, 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 reading the uh, Malcolm X book. How and, did he get caught? Because like he said, he was he he just got done like reading the Malcolm uh, X book, and someone asked him a question. And they're like, so what's like your favorite part? And he's like, oh, I just talking about like Denzel Washington. I actually just started like I just started <laughs> reading it, and, yeah, so, and he just goes like, uh, yeah, he's like, actually, I was talking to um, uh, I was actually talking to him last week. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, uh, LeBron. Um, he's I actually, like bro, he did it. He's actually dead. He's like, then, then who, who was I talking to? It must have been a good, 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 ghost. He said that? No. Oh, that's about to say. Having fun though. He's he, just, he could just tell he doesn't LeBron have time to think about anything. Allergic to the truth is the headline. This is this has become like telling what scroll down. A clear lie about Migos. Yeah, because he was like, I, uh, I, I was the first one to listen to Migos in 2010, and then Migos yeah, didn't come that. out until 2011. And then, but you can listen to a mixtape in 2010 on that piff. There's always a. There's also a bunch of pictures of LeBron um, reading books in locker rooms, and he's on the first page of every Every book. And uh, there's just a running joke that he's never finished a book. Oh, I didn't know he was on the first page. LeBron's LeBron's funny. funny. I will say, the favorite recently was he was on a uh, a European uh, soccer show, and there was a soccer player. That was hilarious. And they're like, he's talking about the team. He's like, oh, no, I love him. I've been watching them for a long years. He goes, and the, the girl goes, well then, you know, uh, Donovan uh, here. He was the captain for many years. The longest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just been no. long dead. Even notice you. Uh, but I, I love when you're on the team. You did great things. He goes. So we saw <laughs> R- 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 Ronaldo hit that goal today. What you? That was a big goal. What you think? He goes. Yeah. Actually, I didn't get a chance to see the game, but uh, I saw that clip on my uh, Instagram, and I thought, wow, that's that's good. That's good. That's good for him. Mm-hmm. And it was. Just, so generic, you're like LeBron. So politician, wait. politician. It, it's just politician. lying. Wait, so they were trying to catch him in a lie? No, they're not no, trying they to catch him. It's they're just everyone's cause about this. It's a threat of just everyone going he through. He just always like, seems like he's kind of like, kind of trying to not let people down on the information that he's he like, oh, I know have. everything. Yeah. I know everything. I'm LeBron. Yeah. But that's, that's. As a Lakers fan, you just can't, you can't fathom LeBron being less than good. I, I love LeBron. I love LeBron in Miami. I love him in Cleveland. Like, I love LeBron. Like, I, I think love him too, bro. But Steph Curry has passed him. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so not dumb. saying this to be funny. Kyrie, but Pascal had been my favorite. I like this style of playing. I like the way he Until played. Until recently, no, I like the I like the flat Earth shit. And then he just start, you know what I mean. I like he just the start, flat Earth I did. That was one of the things. But also that motherfucker got handles. Yo, he's bro, fast as shit. shit. And I, I grew up on handles, bro. I grew that's up the shit I like. I like Derrick Rose, even though he's always injured. I like that. I like those type of players. But like your, your references are so old. Oh, old as shit. You see that, right? Oh, you see. Right, I do like John Morant too, though. Yeah, John, John Morant is fire. John, John, John Morant is John is this generation's Allen Iverson. You think? I've been saying that for years now. I like that dude is incredible. He's nice, bro. Yeah, John's the league. Right now. I like that. Of, and I like that he's in Memphis. I like that uh Baines guy. Baines. Am I saying it's right? Am I saying Aaron his Baines? I don't know. Is he had a Bane guy in the mo- That's Batman. You, you thought you were watching Batman. I, uh, I don't Kevin. know about him, but Victor <laughs> Wimbanyama looks insane. Dylan right, keeps sending right. me clips of this guy. Bro, he's yeah. the best prospect oh, in yeah, 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 Korea. Yeah, the the, the, the seven two kid. Seven uh, four. Listen, College? this is not a this is not a sports four. talk podcast though, guys. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is this is this is Doped up and Guys, dying. thank you. So, that was a fire. The ending, Sunday morning smoke show. Thank you so much for joining us, Alex Gore. Thank you so much for coming through again. Thank you for having uh, me. Tell them one more time where they can find you. Uh, New York Comedy Club later tonight. Uh, uh, this le- comes out Sunday. Uh, Atlantic City, Friday, November 18th, yeah, yeah. 8.30, nice. um, in the Celebrity Theater at the third floor of the Car- Claridge Hotel. Uh, be safe, make good choices. All right, guys, oh, thank yeah. you so much. This is Doped Why and Dying. You the. <laughs> Oh, Alex Alex P. Gorge on Instagram, if anyone gives a shit. Good night, everybody.